Item Number SCP-6477 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures after the successful implementation of Containment Strategy 6477-7, the only current containment procedure necessary for the containment of SCP-6477 is the maintenance of Area 6477, located on the grounds of Site 11. All tombstones in Area 6477 are to be routinely cleaned, and the surrounding area is to be kept clear of debris. The Department of Analytics is to monitor world media sources for stories concerning the disappearance of bodies. Footnote 1. The Department of Analytics already monitors for these occurrences. However, due to the nature of the bodies interred by SCP-6477, it is unlikely any will receive media attention. If an instance of SCP-6477 gains notable notoriety, a suitable cover story is to be created. Containment Strategy 6477-7 Summary Strategy successfully implemented as of June 1st, 2016. No further action necessary. Author, Researcher Taylor Hunt 1. The bodies of individuals who have died without having been buried are to be interred at a new burial ground, henceforth referred to as Area 6477. The explicit purpose of this burial ground is to be for the burial of individuals who would not otherwise be buried. 2. Once the burial ground has reached sufficient burials as to be defined as a space for the burial of individuals who would not otherwise be buried, MTF Theta 13, Bring Out Your Dead, is to locate instances of SCP 6477, recover the bodies, and reinter them at Area 6477. This process must be completed within 24 hours of removal from the grave to ensure that a Creon event does not occur. 3. The same process is to be simultaneously performed for cremated ashes, interring such remains at a mausoleum built on the grounds of Area 6477. 4. The burial grounds and mausoleum of Area 6477 are to be monitored for the presence of new SCP-6477 instances. 5. If new burials are noted as occurring within Area 6477 and confirmed as SCP-6477 activity, this containment strategy will have been successful. Description: SCP-6477 is an anomalous phenomenon affecting human corpses, designated SCP-6477-1, that would otherwise not undergo any form of burial or internment. SCP-6477 is associated with three kinds of anomalous activity, which are designated as Antigone events, Creon events, and Pharaoh events. A description of each follows. Antigone events. 24 hours after death, an SCP-6477-1 instance will disappear. Simultaneously, a new internment location appropriate for the SCP-6477-1 instance will manifest, with the SCP-6477-1 inside. The nature of this internment varies between instances of SCP-6477-1, but tends to be a form of internment appropriate for the presumed culture and beliefs of SCP-6477-1 in life. For instance, SCP-6477-1 instances who are strongly opposed to burial will instead be cremated. SCP-6477-1 instances tend to be interred in locations that are appropriate for the individual in question. These have included familial burial plots, locations the individual had expressed interest in while alive, or cemeteries containing acquaintances of the individual. Footnote 2. Update. June 1st, 2016. Outdated. All Antigone events since June 1, 2016 have interred SCP-6477-1 at Area 6477. These events are typically accompanied by an epitaph that describes the SCP-6477-1 instance in question. Creon Events when an SCP-6477-1 instance which has previously undergone an Antigone event is removed from the location where it was interred, a Creon event may occur 24 hours later. In a Creon event, the SCP-6477-1 instance will disappear and be reinterred at the location in which it was previously interred. The existing location will undergo anomalous modifications that form obstructions that prevent future attempts at retrieving the SCP-6477-1 instance in question. These modifications have varied in form, but have included the spontaneous appearance of rocky matter and vegetation around an SCP-6477-1 instance, or increased security measures on a building containing SCP-6477-1. 
Creon events occur selectively based on the nature and reason behind an SCP-6477-1 instance being removed. If an SCP-6477-1 instance is being removed so that it can be reinterred at a new appropriate location, no Creon event will occur. Pharaoh Events Immediately following a Creon event, a Pharaoh event will occur, targeting any individuals involved in the removal of the SCP-6477-1 instance from the SCP-6477 designated burial place. All targeted individuals will suffer immediate cessation of heart function. History Prior to 2016 and the implementation of Containment Strategy 6477-7, SCP-6477 was classified as a Keter-class anomaly due to the ubiquity of Antigone events and their inability to be impeded. Due to the moral complications of the heavy amnestic usage that prior iterations of the SCP-6477 containment profile required, the Ethics Committee began to look into alternative containment methodology. Researcher Taylor Hunt submitted Containment Strategy 6477-7 in response to this search, putting forth an alternative containment profile that would direct SCP-6477's attention to a specific area, and then encourage it to bury more bodies there. This was successfully implemented. Addendum SCP-6477 Epitaph Examples Francisco Pena, 1945-1999 you never had enough money to travel to Paris. I hope being buried there can make up for it. Jing Hu, 2001 to 2005. I'm sorry you never got to see the tropics. Your future was bright. Gertrude Beemore, 1901 to 2008. To outlive your friends and family is as much a curse as it is a blessing. May you be with your children again. Megan Walker, 1963 to 2016. You'd like it here. It's nice and peaceful, just what you wanted. A good place for everyone I take care of. Taylor Hunt, 1982-2018 You were taken too soon. Thank you for helping me. I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you all so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, The Bone Man, Rubbishbin69, Tannis, Ruler of All, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.